She pulled away, giving me a kiss as she did. I smiled. She smiled wider. So, do you want to go get lunch? She wiped her eyes. Ali, I'm starving. Perfect. I know just the place. Apparently, the hospital lets their parent or patients go outside. Yuri said that she liked to go to a nearby park when given free time, so after lunch, that was our next destination. I, er, it won't live up to the one back home, but I'm sure it'll be just as nice. Speaking of nice, we're here! I opened up the doors and let Yuri go first. I am a gentleman, after all. We talked to a waiter, and they sat us down at one of the tables. The atmosphere is nice, and I have heard that the food is great. Hopefully this place reaches those expectations for you. The atmosphere is alright, but I haven't eaten anything yet. We'll just have to wait and see. That we will, Yuri. That we will. After that small exchange, our waiter walked up to our table. Hello, you two. My name is Clay. How may I serve you today? Any drinks to start us off? Um, sure. Just the water, please. Okay, and what about the lady? Water. Please. Alright, two waters coming right up. I'll give you some time to look over the menus. He handed us two laminated binders. And I'll be back in a few with your drinks. He walked off and I felt slightly off-put. That felt... I turned to Yuri. Kinda odd, don't you think? It did feel like he was rushing things a bit. We just sat down. She giggled her mature giggle. God, she sounded like a 32-year-old woman, but I absolutely adored it. That's an oddly specific age. For a second there, I found myself just staring at her. Not. You alright, honey? I blinked. Ah, sorry. It's just... Have I ever told you how beautiful you are? She nodded. All the time. Well, okay. Have I ever told you how absolutely dashing your eyes are? She blushed. No, I think... I think that's new. She grabbed my hand. But I have no qualms with you telling me that more often. She tightened her grip. S sorry, I... I know I probably sound ridiculous. Hey! I grabbed her other hand. I just wanted you to know that I still love you. Speech impediment or not, you're still you. And do you know what that means? What? It means that you're perfect. I'll say it time and time again, but you really are. At least, you are to me. I gave her a quick peck on the lips, and her cheeks flared up again. Alright, guys, I got your waters. Perfect timing, Clay. I smiled at Yuri, and she smiled back. Clay set the waters down, took back out his notepad. So, have we looked over the menus? Do either of you want any appetizers or anything? Uh... uh could we please get one of the pretzels? Sure thing. Anything else? I think we're good for now. Alright. You two have fun, and... wait. It's the wrong two. T-W-O. And I'll get you that pretzel. I turned to Yuri. How did you know... or... Yeah, how did you know they have pretzels? It's on that side over there. She pointed behind me, so I turned around in my chair. World famous pretzel! That was quick thinking, Yuri. I'm impressed. Well, when you spend most of your life avoiding contact with people... The sound was fine. You pick up a few things. Well, alright then. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. We spent around an hour in that restaurant, talking, chatting, but mostly, we were just enjoying each other's company. Both of us had the mindset. Both of us knew. Both of us were thinking it. I'm just so happy to see you again. It felt like a dream come true, honestly. I probably relied on Yuri too much, but who cares? We're here for a good time, not a long time. Yuri set down her fork, seemingly done with her meal. There was a bit left on her plate, but you could chalk that up to her being full. But I knew she had more in her. She wasn't full, she was saving room. And I was thankful she was. Because the exact reason we went to this restaurant? Something I hadn't mentioned to Yuri up until this point? Well, let's just say it's dessert related. There's Clay! He doesn't have the check, so I assume he's coming by to ask about dessert. Hook, line, and sinker. Hey there, guys. Enjoying the meal? I nodded. Yup. Thanks, Clay. Of course. Now, of course, I have to ask. Are we thinking about any dessert? Oh, I'm good, but... Hook, line! Oh, uh, do you have any 
pina colada ice cream. And sinker. We do. Would you like some? She gasped. Yes, I would, please. She was holding back. Sounds good. I'll be back with that in a second. Clay walked off and Gary turned to face me. You know, didn't you? I smiled. You know. Of course you know. What can I say? I... I would have finished my sentence, but I was cut off. Cut off by a pair of lips against mine. I'll take my Boyfriend of the Year award, please. After a few seconds of intense passion, she broke it off. You know. You know what you remembered. She wiped her eyes. Oh, God. She giggled. I really need to stop crying. Well, seeing you crying tears of happiness is something I don't think I'll ever get tired of. Just so you know. She giggled again. Well, I'll be sure to keep doing it. If it makes you that happy. I nodded. It makes me more happy than you could ever imagine. I leaned over the table and gave her a kiss on the cheek. This day is perfect. We walked out of the restaurant, our stomachs full. That, uh, that was pretty good. Yuri muttered. Yeah, not bad for being in the middle of nowhere. Nope. I grabbed Yuri's hand and we continued to walk. So, where's that park you mentioned earlier? I turned to face her. It's, <clears throat> it's back by the hospital. We'd have to take the bus back there. Ah, crap. We don't have to. No, no, it's all right. The buses here are extraordinarily empty. I'll be fine. Hmm. Well, great. Take me to your park, Yuri. Let's go. She began to run, but stopped instantly. I am not going to run on a full stomach. Forgot to mess up the rams. Smart move, Yuri. Smart move. We walked to the bus stop instead. It was nice. The weather remained gorgeous, and so did Yuri. But between the weather and Yuri, the more gorgeous one isn't even a competition, I'd say. I chuckled. She would probably flush if I said that out loud. Hey, Yuri. And he proceeded to say something corny. This park isn't as good as the other one. Sorry. That's all right. You can't really compare the two, you know. The other one is special. Yet this one just kind of exists. Why is the other one special? I turned my head. What do you mean? We had our first date there. Our first conflict there. That other date. That other other date. That other other. Okay, I get it. I just didn't know if you felt the same way that I did. I put my hand on her shoulder. Yuri, I love you. I let go of her shoulder and continued walking. <laughs> I chuckled. Hey. I don't know why, but I began to run. Yuri didn't sound too angry, judging by the constant giggling as she chased after me. But now I was giggling. I was having fun. For the first time in a while, I was back to having fun with Yuri. And it made me feel so alive. I continued running on the path until I tripped on something. Most likely a loose rock. Ugh. Either way, I went tumbling down onto the grass. I shook my head as I sat up and looked at my surroundings. I was in a forest clearing. Like the one back home. Hey, are you okay? I heard Yuri. She must have seen me fall. She ran over and stood above me. I saw you fall. You're not hurt, are you? No, I... I'm fine. But look where we are. She looked around. Oh, this is a pretty little clearing. Yes, it is. And you know what forest clearings are perfect for? Oh, what's that? I fell back down onto the grass, staring at the clouds. I looked up into the sky. That one looks like a bunny. Hmm. That one looks like a bulldozer. That one was weird. Hmm. That one looks like my love for you. Hmm? Yuri, on her knees, draped her body over top of me. It hurt a little bit, but I'm not sure telling her that is a smart idea. As I focused back up on the clouds, she adjusted herself to be more comfortable. She was now lying on my chest. Exactly where she belonged. Everything was perfect. Until something struck me. Hey! Yes? Why did you stop writing letters? I'm sorry to bring this up now, but that was kind of concerning. Why did I stop writing? Why did you stop writing? Huh? We stared into each other's eyes. I sent my letter, and then you never replied. 
That's not true. I always reply to your letters. It got lost in customs, didn't it? Yeah. Definitely. She hid back in my chest, and I went back to the clouds. That one looks like my everlasting love for Yuri. Ellie. Uh, yeah? Jeez, that kind of spooked me. Please don't leave. Oh. I smiled sadly and ran a hand through her hair. Well, I have to leave eventually. Why? Because I doubt they'll let me stay here. Why not? She said, muffled by my sweater. They have tons of spare rooms. Yeah, but I don't want to take the room of someone who might need it. Then just stay in my room. But then I'll be distracting you. From what? From... From being strong. From being strong and getting better. Man, that sounded awful. We can't have you relying on me too much, right? That sounded a little better. Yuri sighed. I know. Just... I want to live in my fantasy land. Just for a little longer. Well, Yuri... I'm not going anywhere. Not yet. So you can keep living here. And I'll keep providing it. Yay. She sounded tired. Are you falling asleep? I chuckled. No. She began to snore. I had to hold myself back from laughing. Nice. Heh. <laughs> Though, speaking of nice, I must once again comment on today. I got to see my girlfriend. We went out for lunch. The weather is fantastic. Yuri is slowly getting better. My relationship with Monica doesn't seem too strained. Me and Sayori are friends again. Ah, oh, man. Despite it all, you know. Despite the struggle. Despite the pain. I leaned down and kissed her on the head. Oh, my coconut princess. The joy and the frustration that came with choosing you. Despite all of it. Choosing you is the best decision I have ever made. Epilogue. Tropical Rain. Master Yagi, I love your novel. Do you think you could sign my copy? Sure, kid. I open the book and then I pop the cap off my pen. I write my name down on the cover page along with a thank you. There you go. Now I don't want to see this on eBay, you hear me? Of course not, sir. The fan nods his head rapidly. He scampers off and another person comes in after him. God, book signings. They're gonna be the death of me. Mr. Galaki, your work on Tropical Brain was amazing. How did you do it? Just hard work, you know? Of course, Sunshine. I chuckle. I signed his book too, giving him a smiley face. What can I say? He made me laugh. After the book signing, I went to make a pit stop downtown. She should be here somewhere. Yep, there she is. Hello, Mr. Yogi. Hey there, Koto. Here for your flowers. I nod. Sorry I'm so late. That's okay. She takes a bundle of flowers and puts them in a bag. I know you have your book signings and all that. I nod and take out my card. I pay for the flowers, grab my bag, and then nod my head. Have a good night, Koto. You too, Hallie. I smile and wave. I drive down the road to my house, flowers in the passenger seat next to me. I hope she likes these. She er, should be a good apology for having to stay out late. I chuckle for the millionth time this mod. I pull into my driveway and hop out of my car. Finally home. I walked up to my front door and unlocked it. Phew. It's warm in here. Good thing, too, because it was cold as hell out there. I walk into the kitchen. But when I do, the light flips on. Now I know how this looks. Yeah, I would hope you do. Uh-oh, she's pissed. She walks towards me, and I worry she's going to get physical. Until her face softens. I was worried sick, you know. I... I know, and I... I'm sorry. I held out the flowers. I got caught up at book signing, and I... She gives me a kiss on the cheek. Apology accepted. She takes the flowers. Oh, these are so pretty. Holly, how did you know these? I listen, you know. Jeez. Do you know? Yes. I say in mock outrage. Give me some more credit. Okay. She leans in and gives me a real kiss. It lasts a few seconds, and then she pulls away. 
How's that for some more credit? That's some pretty damn good credit, babe. We both lean in and our lips lock once more. We were both thinking it. We both had the same mindset. As usual. I love you. And that's the end. Well, you're welcome, game. Everyone, a special thanks. Please check Coconut Princess to see a very special message for you and a copy of the original soundtrack. Oh, I'm not in special thanks, so I guess I'm kind of screwed. See more of their work at those places. I already said you're welcome. Get out of here. And that is it for Tropical Rain. Naturally, I'll compose all my thoughts about it in the proper review when it's done. But that does this for now, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time with more Doki Doki. Hope to see you then. Bye bye!